Hey, right back here at the Sun and Honing Machine model. What model is this thing? Oh, it's model MBB 1600 EMS. About 1968 vintage. Okay, now where I was last time, I was saying when you do the basic adjustments, you, you got to have the machine shut off. And uh, what you can do is uh, uh, when you put different man mandrels in and stones and things like that, the mandrel will run out. And there's a provision for that. Let's see, get my foot on the pedal here. You can just depress the pedal slightly and it releases the brake, <clears throat> which is just a fabric band, very simple kind of brake. Well, there's four adjusting screws here, just like a, a, a buck adjust true wave chuck. So you can adjust the run out, and what I do is I just uh, slip a, a, a chewing sleeve on there. So you gotta adjust it so I can get on there. And uh, I'll, sh I'll talk a little bit about loading this thing. How to load the stones so there's pressure on them. Okay, so you just put uh, a dial indicator on there. And I did. And uh, it doesn't have to run perfectly true. And a lot of people don't bother, you know, chewing them very much. I like to have them pretty true. So that's where that is. Okay. Now, we got to dress the stones. And one of the things that's really helpful is extending the stones all the way out, like I'm doing there. I'll show you with this one here. Push that in. It's pushed in pretty good. And this is a dressing stone that I don't think they're very expensive. It's, it's for this. And you want to break the edge. You want to do this quite often because you're you're, uh, you're boring uh, or grinding a round hole. So you don't want those edges, you want the, the crown, you know, to, to touch. So you take the stone and you break those edges, okay? Now I'm gonna do it here. Break those edges, both sides, Okay, real nice thing to do, you can get the end there, see? Just nice and smooth. Okay, that's done. Now, I'm gonna uh, just lightly push down, see? It frees that up. And when you push all the way down, then it engages the motor and it's hard to turn. So I kind of got it in a neutral. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to back this off, this is the feed dial, and I'm going to put the uh, uh, stone on there, pedal all the way down, okay? Now I'm going to crank, oh, wrong, wrong sleeve, get this one on there, back her down, okay, got the pedal all the way down, and I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can pull you around a little bit. Whoop. I didn't like doing that. Let's see if you can see that dial. Let me try this. There we go. That's pretty good. I, hopefully. I don't think that'll fall off there. Okay. I got the, I got the pedal pushed all the way down. And I'm going to load that stone with this dial. And you can, uh, with this uh, feed dial. And you can see it on the honing dial. That's your honing dial. And I'm going to give it a full turn, okay? Okay. Now let's see how much, what you can see here. I'm going to get over here. You know, I think that's actually, let's see where my hand comes in here. Yeah, yeah, I think that's okay, just like that. Well, maybe I'll move just a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Okay, now what you do is you reach into the tray 
down there in that gooky oil and you get you a big finger of goo, see? Very, very delightful. And you spread it all on there. Spread it on. That's probably plenty. And then I, then I stick my finger in the oil, a little bit of oil. Just get a little bit of oil on there. Okay, now we're gonna dress those, um, true those stones. Okay, we're gonna turn the machine, put this on. Turn the machine on. Okay, I'm not, I, I'll just let the oil go over here. And here we go. Can you see the dial moving there? It's actually, you know, it's grinding the stones down and actually honing this chewing sleeve a little bit. Now I'm gonna let up, I'm gonna reverse it. And I can tell by how this feels. A little tight right there. Yeah. Yeah, see it's starting to feel real even. Stop. Reverse it. Yeah, see it feels real smooth now. You see the you see the dial climbing back over to this way. See? Oh, that feels real nice. Okay, that's ready to um, hone the bushing that I've yet to put in into that piece. Here, I'll cut this down. Okay, that mandrel is, is prepared. And what else can I add in this? Oh. Let's see. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this clean here. I don't know, I think this gauge might be set pretty close. You can see in there, you can see that that's, uh, see the honed finish. Okay. I'm going to see if this gauge is anywhere close. No, it's not. But this is the gauge I'm going to use to uh, to do to check the bore on the bushing I'm going to do. And I'll get that set. Maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, do a video on the gauging that I use. I, I use old industrial gauges. This this gauge here is probably 50 years old, but it works really quite well. It reads directly in tens. And. I've got various uh, hole measuring devices that I, that I use here. So I think that's pretty much the basics. And uh, um, one of the other tools uh, that I do use in the machine is uh, I use lapping tools because it's kind of nice to keep the abrasive mess right here. And this is a tool here that produces even uh, a more accurate bore in, in the millions, if you're careful using it. That's a barrel lap there. So um, I have an adapter, and you can use small lathe chucks, uh, drill chucks to hold work. Uh, you can do uh, external honing, and just a lot of different things. Oh, I guess one thing I could point out, if, uh, if you're having trouble uh, with a blind hole, uh, you can actually uh, grind these things back, and Sunnan has instructions on it, so it has the stone exactly, uh, right exactly at the end. And you can take and dress the back of the stones manually like this and so only you know the front part cuts and you can you can uh, straighten out a hole that's uh you know not uh you know it's got some bad taper in the back end now one of the things i'm going to point out is uh what the machine will not do if if there's a hole 
through a piece of metal like that, it will not straighten the hole up like that. It will make a perfectly round hole at that angle. If you have to straighten that out, that's when you have to go to cylindrical grinding. Okay, the sun and home will go the easiest way. So that's one of the rules of, of uh, the device. You can, you can have a lumpy hole and all kinds of stuff, and it'll straighten it out, but it will go the easiest path. So if, if your hole's already straight, has some tape in it, some wild here and there, it's, it's going to be straight when you hone it. Okay. Well, thanks for checking this part out. And in the next video, I'll actually do some work with the machine. Hey, thanks for looking. Bye now.